Yes, yes, yes. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Whit Montez, La Diva Latina. Welcome to another edition of the Radio Spotlight. We're live. We're in the building. And it's crazy. I'm hot. It's like the summer is coming back. What's up, Edgar? What up? How what up? Doing? What up? What up? Here we are another week. I got some shout outs. My guest is here. Our guest is here. Um, but before we get started and before I introduce him, let me give my shout outs real quick. Shout out to John, Judy, Jillian. Shout out to Brianna. Shout out to Olivia. And big shout out going out to John Jr. I see you guys. And thank you guys for tuning in. So, how was your day, Edgar? Oh, day was good. Crazy? Was the, yeah, I was at the golf course all day oh, in man. Nyack, New York. So I just came straight here from the golf course. Oh, man. So we got to talk about that later on. I want to introduce my guest because I feel like time is of the essence and uh, he's an important guy, guys. You may or may not have heard of our guest and you may have seen his brand on many celebrities such as Floyd Mayweather Jr., Pusha T., Cameron, Swiss Beats, Victor Cruz, the list goes on and on. He is a jeweler to many, but his exclusive craftsmanship is what won over celebrity clients such as Drake and his good friend Floyd Mayweather Jr. So who is the man behind the Mr. Brand? Well, we're about to find out. Welcome to the radio spotlight, Mr. Flawless. What up, what up, what up? <laughs> it is hot. It is hot, it is hot right? <laughs> Yeah, you know, somebody didn't pay the, a the AC this week. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the show. Welcome to the Radio Spotlight. How was your day? Day was good. Thank you guys for having me. Up Thank here. you so very much for coming through. Um, I can only imagine your day is hectic. Your schedule is hectic. So you made some time to, to come out and show us some love. Yeah. Yeah? I'm all over the place. You're I all over. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, what did you do today? How was your day? T Today was just crazy. I was just getting back into the groove. I just got back from Cabo last night. Amazing place. That's wow. what rich people do. Let me Pretty tell you much. Go to Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, I'm never staying at a resort that is not all inclusive. That's, That's it. it. Did That's you stay it. at a resort that stayed, wasn't? It was a beautiful place. I stayed at a place called The Cape. Okay. It's by the Thompson Hotels. Okay. And it and, wasn't? And, and it was beautiful place, but damn, I ran up that bar bill so Ooh. fast. Yeah. And when it was time to check out yesterday, I was like, wait, how much? <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably so, bought out the bar. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean. <laughs> you was negotiating I, when I, you was I, leaving. I, I, yeah, I was like, listen, I don't care how much money you make. But listen, when, 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 when the bill is that crazy, yeah. within like two, three days, you're just kind of like, you know. Man. All inclusive is the way to go is what I'm saying. That's, what, that's the, the, the message at the end of yes. the day. Man, well, I feel like we just have to jump right in. Because, like I said, time is of the essence. Tell us where you're from. Let's start right there. Where are you from? Where were you born? I was born and raised in Queens. Queens. What part of Queens? Uh, started out in uh, Forest Hills. That's a nice area. It's Forest nice. Forest Hills was nice. It was a nice little Russian community. Yeah. You know, my parents came from Russia in '79, so. Nie, nie. It, 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 <laughs> it was a, it was, a, it was a good place for them to start out. That's that's my Russia. Yeah. You, you, did I you got get you. that? No, no. How to show? How to show? Good, right? Good. Yeah, good. All right. <laughs> so, so it was a good upbringing good uh childhood yeah i had a great childhood man god bless my parents for that they gave me everything i needed in life to succeed yeah shout out to the parents man any siblings i have an older brother he's exactly 10 years older than me okay so so it's just you and him so you and the yeah, big bro and, and I'm, I'm happy i had a brother growing up you know i always got my ass kicked <laughs> so if you, if you think about it when i was six he was 16 you know what 16 year, old, year olds do they just abuse things yeah so so did you want to be like the older brother did you oh, want to wear his clothes of course i did all that i wanted to be like him i dressed like him tell you us know. about young flawless what, what kind of kid were you what were you into look he's laughing because <laughs> the memories i was a punk you know i was just uh, all over the place you know off the walls had adhd <laughs> i think we all couldn't did. couldn't just couldn't i have adhd together, you know? now <laughs> So, you know, what were you just, into, though? What I kind mean, of things? Were you video games? Were you sports? I, was, I, I wasn't into video games. You know, I was athletic. I liked handball. You know, I lived across the street from a park. Okay. So, you know, whatever. Okay, okay. Rollerblades, bicycles, all that. You were like an just, active kid. Yeah. You, you did all the kids stuff. Yeah, I was always active. Always. At what age do you remember, you know, you, you had a role model? Who was your role model growing up? 
Was it man, your brother? I, I, was it? Man, I love Michael Jackson. I remember being like six years old. I loved him so much. I used to convince my parents. I used to be like, Mom, he's my brother, right? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She would do anything to make me Aww. eat because I couldn't. I, w- I was always excited. I never wanted to eat. You would literally see me holding down my like private part because I didn't want to miss a moment because I had to pee. <laughs> just so I, you know what I mean? Wow. While I was playing. That's so awesome. she was like, come on, you got to eat. I was like, no, no, Michael Jackson's my brother, right? So let me. So you were dancing. You were Yeah. Yeah. Michael Jackson was the guy for me. Share some memories with us. Like what? Were you were you in front of the television? It's a television tape. I'd. I, I, Thriller, I'm talking about everything. The glove, did you have Every, the glove? I didn't have the glove. He was my brother. He was Can supposed to come walk? home. Can, Can you moonwalk? You moon uh, I could moonwalk on tiles. <laughs> like in a kitchen. Okay. You know what I, I mean? With socks it. on. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, you know, we're going to talk about the Sixth Avenue God thing later, but you mm. know, that's a nice theme. Sixth Avenue, Michael Jackson, get it? Theme? No? Mm-hmm. Maybe? Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe. Mm-hmm. Maybe you can full circle it somehow. Halloween's coming. I might hey. just touch that. <laughs> so let's fast forward a little bit into your teenage years, 18, 19. Tell us about Young Flawless. What kind of guy were you? Oh, Who were you developing into? 18, 19. I was still, you know, finding myself. Okay. You know, I was a little all over the place. Just, you know, partying, you know, just got a car. Yeah. And, you know, doing the most. Were you influenced? Were you, you know, good guy, bad guy? What what, what kind of things? I mean, we all uh, dip and dabble into the... I mean, I, I always considered myself a good guy. Okay. But, you know, we, we do bad things sometimes. Of course, you know? of course. You're a good guy, though. I'm a good guy. At the end of the day, I'm a good guy. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, Edgar, whenever you want to jump in... Nah, I want to go straight to the point. Oh, like, uh, how, what's the point? What's I, going I, for? Like, all right, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. That's part two. Like, how, how he became mister? Where did that we're gonna come get from? We're going to get there. You know, the you, you know why? I like to hear the story because uh, people don't post. You don't you don't post, you, you know, when you were a kid and all the things that, that brought you to where you are today. So I like to hear at least five minutes of just the background. I mean, just growing up in New York mm-hmm. was a blessing for me. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that I was born and raised in New York. Like I'm a native, yeah. You know, um, just the hip hop culture and, and just the street culture was was kind of molded me. Influenced just, you. It just it just it just made me who I am. So okay, because you know what, Edgar? Before he became Mister Flawless, did you know that he did mortgages? No, I did not. And we gotta talk about that. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> That's one of my questions. Were you good at it? Were you no, successful? So, so, my mom took me out of high school because I was just cutting class, hanging out, and and I wasn't a stupid kid. I just wasn't interested into into anything they were teaching. You, you know? see, he didn't I'm, say that before, you know? right? Look, look. <laughs> and uh, my mom was like, you know what? I'm not gonna have you outside doing nothing. So she took me out of high school, made me get my GED. Okay. I got my GED. And uh, I was, I just signed up to go to St. John's. Okay. L- literally the first day I was walking to St. John's. And I, at the time I lived across the street from there. And my cousin drove by and he was like, what are you doing? I'm like, uh, my mom wanted me to go to St. John's. I don't even know what the hell I'm going to be doing. I was taking, right. I was in there for finance. Okay. I didn't know what I was, I was just going for my mom. I was like, whatever. Right, right. Which we all do. And my cousin just opened up a mortgage company. He's like, dude, go back home. Meet me here tomorrow. And you're gonna work for me. I'll t- I'll handle your mom tomorrow. I'll I'll call her right now. And let her know what's going on. So I go home. I'm like, hey, listen. Steve told me not to go into work. And Steve and my and my family's is the big guy. He you know he pulls the shots. He's the dude right. that was always getting money. Right. So my mom was like, all right, well, let's go to Marshalls and let's go get you a little suit or whatever the hell. So okay. I went to work the next day and started doing mortgages. So your mom, your parents were supportive. Yeah, they just didn't want me, you know, they didn't want me getting lost in the streets. And, and you know, it's just easy to get in with the wrong crowd in New York and, yes. and losing yourself, you know. So were you successful? Were you good at it? I mean, you said you hated it. I hated it because a nine to five wasn't for me. Yeah. And and back then we didn't have our channels like like social media to kind of, you know. Reach people, get get your name right, out I'm, there. I'm sitting there, you know, nine to five counting the minutes, literally losing my hair. What was one thing that you learned from it, though? Absolutely. I mean, I learned a lot. I mean, I always had a hustle. I, you know what I did learn? That I hate having a 9-to-5. <laughs> yeah. Word. Like, <laughs> Shout know. out to everybody that has a 9-to-5, but I feel it. I, I get it. 
Now I have a 10 to 6. <laughs> <laughs> now you work 24-7. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I learned a few things. But nothing nothing that I found interesting. You right. know, I wasn't I wasn't there. Yeah. I you was were just, just doing it. I was it. just doing it to get my money and then do what I... What was did your... you make money? Yeah, I made a couple dollars. Yeah. Okay. I did, yeah. At 21, I made... I made enough. I made money that a twenty-one-year-old shouldn't have had. So, which motivated and, you and to I didn't more. save any of it. <laughs> which motivated you to make more? Yeah, which kind of. And at me that age, we don't bit. save money, right? Yeah. At that age, yeah. you know, it's tough to save money at any age. Yeah, if, you know, you gotta kind of just have willpower. True. What was your your state of mind? I mean, you said you didn't really save money. You were mm-hmm. making money. Were you? I was just always grinding. About, I was always about having a good time. I wanted people that were around me to have a good time. You know. Uh, my friends, we would go out, buy bottles, you know, hang out with girls, you know, take them out to dinner, spend money, you show off, and, and you Edgar know, Edgar smiling, not, nah, not saying, thinking about I, tomorrow. Saying, I'm thinking taking about him down. Memories. What were some of your favorite spots then back then? I remember Strata was was going on. I remember, I remember Strata. Strata. Tunnel. Tunnel. I'm talking about back. Uh, sometimes I would sneak into uh, Sound Factory. Sound Factory. Yeah. Come on, son. You know, Joe's so. Pub. <laughs> But, Man. but you, you know, when being that young, you weren't thinking about tomorrow. You're like, I'm just trying to have a good time tonight and, and, and enjoy. True. True. So. so when did you start to think about the next phase? Like, all right, I got to get out of here. The mortgage, like the, the, the market just crashed in like 04. Mm-hmm. So I was making money from like 21 to 24. And then it was kind of like, eh. And I didn't think it was going to stop because it was just coming in. So I wasn't really thinking, like, all right, I got to save for, you know, my future. I wasn't thinking like that. And yeah. uh, next thing you know, it just crashed, and I was kind of just not doing anything, living off a couple of hours that I had. And my mom was like, look, um, why don't you go be an appraiser with your brother? So my brother was a real estate appraiser at the time, and I kind of did that for a little while. Hated that, too. Right. But it was good because it wasn't a 9 to 5. I was able to drive around, take pictures of homes, and, and get things done. But... um. I was just miserable. I wasn't happy doing what I was doing. My mom was like, look, again, my mom. My, God bless Shout out lady. to mom. And my mom, she was, oh, you know what, mom? I love you if you hear this. She's probably not listening. But. That's okay. These are recorded, so yeah. you could play it for her another day. Man, she just was always supportive. I remember my teacher called her in in the sixth grade. She's like, listen, your son needs to be on Ritalin. He is like, all, she was like, listen, my son doesn't need anything. Nothing is wrong with him. I'll leave be, a, just leave it alone. And I was like, why can't we try Ritalin? You know, I'm, I'm young. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> But uh, thank God she was always supportive of everything that I did. She one day was like, listen, your uncle and your cousin are one man short at work. Why don't you just try the jewelry thing out, be a salesman for just, you know, for um, seasonal. I was like, all right, whatever, I'll go. How much they paying me? She's like, I don't know, why don't you call them and find out? Mm Mm-hmm. So I call him, like, hey, what's up? I heard you guys needed somebody at the store for, you know, seasonal. They're like, yeah, we'll hook you up like $70 a day. I looked at my mom like she was crazy. $70 a day. I'll go. <laughs> so I, I go, and I worked from Thanksgiving to Christmas, literally. 12-hour shift. Wow. So I was done. By the time I was getting home, I was just finished. I had to wake up and do it again. Uh, by the time Christmas came, I was like, thank you guys, but uh, I'm good. And they were like, no, 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 we want you back. Come back, come back, you know. And I was like, I don't know if this is for me. I'm not really into sales. I don't really want to do this. I didn't know anything about Rolexes and stuff like that. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we'll pay you more. Your hours will be shorter, and you'll work, you know, Monday to Friday. I was like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I didn't know how to say no to them. I was like, yeah, 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 no doubt. As soon as I, <laughs> my, in my head, I was like, as soon as I'm going home, I'm going to have my mom handle this for me. Right. Because I don't know. Sometimes I don't know how to say no to people. I'm just uh, in an uncomfortable place. So I get home, and she just she just is like, listen, please go back. Like, she was crying. Like, just please for me, go back. Just do another week. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, man. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I go, and literally the day that I came back, 50 walks in. He wasn't my client. Wow. But I was like, oh, shit. 50's in there. <laughs> <laughs> He walks right over to me, and 50 was, uh, at the time, and he still is uh, Dave Bling. Everybody, anybody know Dave Bling? Yeah. Dave Bling is, uh, that's the homie. Shout out to Dave Bling. Um, he was the dude that I looked up to in the, in the, in the jewelry world in New York City because he's the guy who had it after Jacob. 
And um, Dave wasn't there that day. And 50 walks in and he comes straight to me. And I'm like, this is cool because I, I, I'm i the young guy there. You know what I'm saying? I, I work in an exchange, so no one really speaks the language there. Everyone just, you know, right. you know, so me and him kick it. And I'm shaking because I'm like, Yo, I, I, I only played 50. It was either 50 or M. Right. So I'm like, I'm like, I think he definitely hears my heart beating right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was one of my first, you know, I was starstruck. It was cool for me. I never really got to see anyone. So. Yeah. Two days after that, Fab walks in. Again, he's not my client, but, you know, we're in the same exchange. So it was just like, it was a calling. Mm. I was like, you know what? This might be the place for me. Because they're coming in here. Now I'm dealing with, like, these kids over here, over here. You know, I couldn't even get into these clubs before. Now I'm getting walked in, you know, because I'm dealing with the people that either own the clubs because they buy watches or, you know, just, I'm just the networking was just through, through the roof. roof. Yeah. So, it, you know, I was like, you know what? I like this place. I like Manhattan. <laughs> I'm going to stay here for a little while, even if I'm getting paid $100 a day, whatever. It's all good. Five hundred dollars a day. Um, I mean, five hundred dollars a week is, is 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 not you know. It's decent, yeah. It's, no, it's it's. It's hard. My my it goes quick. My spending habits were like, you know. But the average person. If I made five, I was spending a thousand. Yeesh. So I'm working the next week for free. In my head, you know. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But that's you know. Man, that's a that's a great story I, I, right I, I, there. I had a grind, grind, grind. When did Floyd, when did you get that? Another thing, Floyd walked in, you know, two weeks after that. And uh, that's another dude I was so excited. I just literally finished watching the fight at my house. And I charged everybody. Like all my friends, I was like, yo, everybody bring $5. I don't give a shit. Or bring beer. <laughs> don't come to my house unless you have something. And we just finished watching his fight. And he walks in because when he, when he, you know, he always wins. When he wins, he's, he's, he's there to spend his money. So he comes into my store. And he doesn't know me, and he's used to deal. He's been there before. He's used to dealing the, with the guy that was there before me. His name was Yuri. And he was like, "Hey, where's my man at?" And I was so excited to see him. I was like, "Hey, Floyd, what's up?" And he was kind of like, "What's up?" Kind of like nonchalant. Nonchalant. So I was like, "All right, whatever." But wow. uh, we ended up um, building and having a great relationship after that. He helped me out a lot with my career. So shout out to Floyd as well. My man, money, man. Now, how did, like, uh, that whole, like, you said, like, he helped you, like, you guys start develop what type, like, a relationship, it was obviously a business relationship, but then it became, I mean, like, we, I always made him laugh, you know, I would always, like, I wasn't a yes man to him. I'm sure a lot of people that he deals with are always, you know, like, hey, you like this? And they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, no one's going to say they don't like it, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And I always kept it real with him. And I feel like that. I feel like he he could sense stuff like that. I mean, he deals with ass kisses all day. Yeah. So you you're able to determine what's what. So fast forward, you you have these clients now. So do 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 they become your clients now? Does does Fifty become your client? Nah. Does Fab or you just start getting your own clientele? I mean, I I had I started getting my own clientele, but like, if they want something from me, like I'm not gonna sit there and steal your client. But if they want something from me, I'll sell it to them. Yeah. I feel like what I do is different from what everybody else is doing. So, what what does making jewelry entail? What I mean, so Fifty comes to you, or or Floyd comes to you. I want a new piece. How? What? 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 what what's the first step? What do you want? I, like like a guy like Floyd, you just gotta make shit. So you just you gotta, make you, it. Yeah, you got to put your money into it. And then if he likes it, he likes it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. If you make something custom for him. Usually he likes what I have in the store. But like, if you're going to make a piece for him, a custom piece, he's got to like it. Do you ever just say, I'm going to just freestyle this for Floyd and maybe he'll like this? I freestyle a lot of shit. All the time. All the time. It either works or it doesn't. I can't say all the stuff sells, but you know. It usually works. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, so... Now, like the relationship you guys have, so you could c- call him. So you you look at him as a mentor, or, like you ever ask him for advice? Yeah, he always gives me advice. I remember I used to get so upset because when I just got into the jewelry game, I was so passionate about the stuff that I was doing, and it was being copied mm. by the jewelers around the block. There was no originality there, mm-hmm. you know, and I would get upset. 
And he would walk into my store, then walk into another jewelry store. I'm like, yo, why are you fucking with them? Like, I was getting upset. I'm like, because I know what they do. Like, I, it, it's, it's garbage. Mm-hmm. But he had a relationship with them, so I can't. Now I understand that. But when I when I was yeah. coming up Sign in the jewelry respect. game, I was just yeah. like, you know. If they but copy he, he was always like, he, but but he saw he saw something in me that I couldn't see, or I was too stubborn to see myself at the time. You know, he was like, just chill and do what you're doing, and everything's gonna fall into place. I'm like, nah, 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 don't fuck with him, just fuck with me. <laughs> you know, and I would, I would be upset. Hey, and, um, shout out to your boy. Yeah, Naj, what's up? Naj, Naj in the building. Naj, I appreciate it. Yes, and thank you. Man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Had to get on him this morning and said, Notch, make it happen. I put him through. He ripped me a new butthole head. He's like, you can't keep canceling on me. Make me look crazy. I'm like, yo, dude, I just landed. He's like, stop being Hollywood. Get in the way you got to go. I was like, all right, all right, all right, you're right. So, he just he, left he, me- Mexico. He, yeah, he keeps me grounded. That's what's up. Shout out to the people that keep us yeah. grounded. So I, I, can I move forward and find out how the mister started? Hold on, hold on. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Still at the jewelry. How, how did you get into making jewelry? I mean, because you started working at the store, so right? So I started working at the store, and it was it was mostly watches. And um, growing up as a kid, so I come from a Jewish home. Okay. So growing up as a kid, your, your man had a Jesus piece on. I can't wear a Jesus piece. Right. Jewish stars were cool, you know, but, but a Jesus piece is like, yo. Right. That's nice. And... Um, Rosary beads. I was always infatuated with with with, with rosary, rosary beads. I just always thought they were pretty. I thought it was cool. And um, being in the in in in, in the diamond district, you kind of like you're able to source things. Everything was kind of coming to me. Hey, you want this? You want this? You want that? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make myself a rosary bead. And instead of the Mother Mary, I'm gonna put a Jewish star there. And then instead of the cross on the bottom, I'm gonna put a hamsa, which is the hand mm-hmm. of you know that hand and um i made it for myself and i like the way it came out and a lot of people i got a lot of compliments on it and floyd came in one day and he was like yo that's nice i'm like i got it in rose gold white gold and yellow gold if you want he was like don't fuck with them fuck with me yeah and he took all three he took he took one right off my neck i had my initial on one i was like this one's mine so i had my initial on one of them that i personally wore and he has it that's it and when he bought it off my neck i was like yeah I'm going to start making more jewelry. So speaking of bought, how do you price your jewelry? Is it by the weight of the gold or is it by the work that you put into it? The diamonds, what? It's, it's, it's look, what people don't understand is gold is worth what it's worth. Time is, 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 you can't replace time. You know what I mean? Right. It's time is so. I think that time. I go by time. I think time is so precious that it's just you, you know, can't get it back. You, you can't. You can't. So it, it all varies, man. But like, I, man, labor is where it's at. So as much time as you spent in it on mm-hmm. it is what you. Yeah, I get attached to things. I was gonna ask you. I get attached when somebody tells me, "Hey, listen, I want to make a you know make make this diamond piece," and my fe- a lot of emotions go into. I argue with my team. It's not just me. I got a crew. Right. We go back and forth. I argue. Then I got to deal with the client. Like, this is emotional shit that no one knows about. Right. And then we have due dates. You need to do a reality show about this. I don't want to do a reality show about, like, the jewelry work. I, 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 like, if I ever did a reality show, I'd do, like, some Robin Big shit. <laughs> Just, like, funny. I'm trying to... I don't like drama. <laughs> There's so a lot of drama in the jewelry world. Any pieces that you've made that you've kept for yourself, besides the rosary bead, like, you were like, yo, I love this shit too much. I don't want to give it to nobody. The Mister, I did a um, I did a Converse, Converse sneaker, and that was probably one of my second pieces that I made, and I fell in love with it, and I got a lot of compliments on that, and everybody was trying to buy it off my neck. Wow. But I was like, nah, I don't know if I want to give this up because I don't know if I want to go a week without it right. to make another one. It takes about a week. About a week. Edgar, so I, how, I how many it. companies now that you you deal with, like as far as? Branding and lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, Puma. I know Nike. N- Nike likes the kid. Yeah, I know Puma Nike. Likes the kid. Yeah. Nike's Adidas feeling the kid. the kid. <laughs> I mean, but whoever got a check. Well, I, I just have one question before we get into Mister. <laughs> How did you combine fashion and jewelry? Because that's what it seems like you're you've done. You've combined the fashion, these artists. 
in a way where it hasn't been done before. I mean, yeah, we've heard of Jacob the jeweler. Yeah, yeah. But you're combining them. You're making Converse sneaker piece. I, I always did things that I liked, that I personally liked, that I wore, stuff that I, you know. Like Jacob the Jewel is not going to wear a Converse for himself because right. he, didn't, he didn't rock that. You right. know what I'm saying? But he wear a Jacob watch because that's his thing. Right. And it's him. So it worked. So he was able to win off of the stuff that worked for him. And I feel like I'm able to win from... I'm from the culture, so whatever, whatever, you know. Yeah. Can you help me out here? No, my English not so no, much. <laughs> my English not so much. <laughs> you you have an advantage. I mean, Jacob you know, I came just, from that era. Yeah. Biggie, it was early. He was in the you, right place the at the right time, era. and it was yeah. just perfect for him. And he did his thing, and I respect Jacob a lot. Shout out to Jacob too, because he started, he saw, he he paved the way for us. Okay. Guys like me. I respect that. I'm in his old booth, by the way. Are you? I am. Have you have you guys ever any of these drawers that you take like as a mentor to you that you have learned a I'm, lot? I mean, Jacob is from my community, so to to him, I remember being like, he, and I, we have a small. So I'm I'm a Baharian Jew, so we're like Sephardic. You know what I'm saying? So our our culture is is, is small. Mm -hmm. So we know who's who in the family. It's, it's related through you know the bloodline. Is so. It? When he popped, he was like one of the first Maharian guys to pop. So everyone was just like, yeah, like he's famous. He he made he, it. He made it. So growing up, 12, 13, 14, 15, I was like, yo, this is, you know what I'm saying? That's Jacob the Truly. He's in the, you know, in the movie with Jay. And, and, and I'm like, and these, these are my people. Mm -hmm. And um, he was he was the first person to, to kind of do it. So I, I looked up to that. So I respect that, you know. Edgar, you want to jump into the nah, mister? Nah, yeah, the mister. <laughs> I mean, ahead. so... Did I even what? answer that question? What, what, what the... Yeah. <laughs> what just I happened? was like, Safaric. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, what was... Yeah. Wait, 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 did I answer that question? Sort of kind of. I kind of, I kind of <laughs> went off. So, sort of so, 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 so in, in, the jewel, in the jewelry world, he was he was the guy, like him, and, and it was him and Ben Baller were okay. my two guys that I looked up to okay. in the jewelry world. Okay. And, you... and, and a little bit of Dave Bling, you know what I mean? Okay. But, but yeah. you know... I was, I was like I was, I, I, was, I was telling Naj one of the things I'm impressed like I've met you a few times mm -hmm. and then I watch your work and I'm like oh, this guy's a grinder he's a hustler he he figures it out he's one of those guys that figures it out he knows how to take things to the next level so I'm always like what motivates you what's in your head that's like gonna put you in the forefront of where you want to go. Money. You, you, I mean, you know, so, so money's you know, going to come. Here's the thing. I never did it for the money. Okay. I wasn't like, you know what? I'm going to do this piece. I'm going to make this amount of money and, and keep it moving. I never. I could have sold out so many times. I had people with, like, serious, serious paper. Like, yo, listen. We want to buy into your brand. We want 50%. We'll give you this much. You just sit back and relax. Mm. And it was it was nice. It was like a nice, like, I could, I could chill, kick my feet up, and spend how I spend and still have money. And I said, no. So it wasn't about the money and that beat dropped perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Rugged D, <laughs> DJ Rugged D. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it wasn't always about the money for me. This is my baby. I didn't want to put it in the hands of somebody else and, and then just be like, oh fuck, they just ruined that. Cause it's, it's me. Mm -hmm. And and I could have gave a bunch of jewel, uh, rappers free jewelry to fuck with me. I could have gave Ross a chain like, yo, post me on Instagram. Yo, here, post this, do this. You know, I could have, I could have been a sucker and done stuff like that. I feel like what I do is art, and and I'm I'm providing a service. Like you should want to buy. Like you're not gonna go to Cartier. I'm not comparing myself to Cartier, but eventually we're gonna get there. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, you're not gonna go to Cartier and, and bargain with them. You know, their love bracelets are six grand. You're paying six grand when you go there. Whatever I have is is what I have. And that's it. That's how much it is. That's how much I, that's I'm, not going I'm not. I'm not. I'll give you a deal, whatever. But like, I'm not giving you anything for free just so you could post it on Instagram. And, right. and you know what I mean. I could have. What I'm saying is, I could have. I could have sold out and been out of here already. Right. But I'll take my time. Right. Let's talk about Sixth Avenue. How does one shut down the avenue? How does one stop traffic? Have models, cars basketball hoops tennis Sneakers. nets yeah. 
in the middle of the day, how? Nas, you seen it. Without a permit. <laughs> Without a permit. How quick do you do it? <laughs> listen, the light. <laughs> Is it during the light? It, listen, when that light turns mm-hmm. red, I have 51 seconds before it turns green. I wait till it turns green. <laughs> do you understand? I wait till it turns green. So it you looks better go when the cars come. When the cars are coming. This is New York. They don't even care. They just drive past us. They'll Word. Honk, they'll honk and they just keep it moving. They're just like, you Have idiots. you ever got shut down? Cops. By the time they come, I'm already gone in the store making a sale. You're like, oh, okay. So, no, I'm, English, not too good. so I'm literally making a this sale. This whole situation takes five minutes. <laughs> Ten. Hey, it's Notch, that. how many takes have we done before? The, like, at, at most, two, three? Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm in and out. Crazy. By the time a cop comes, they're just, it, I, had a, I had a young lady come up. She was a young officer. She said, like, what are you doing? I had a... I had a blow up bed in the street with a backboard and, 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 and two girls jumping on it having a pillow fight. And this police officer, I'm watching, I'm like, oh shit, she's gonna fuck this whole thing up right now. She's like, what are you doing? I was like, we're having a pillow fight in the street. She's like, get it out of the street, just just go. I was like, all right, let's go. How do you, do, how do you say that with a straight face? I, the other day, a, a cop came over to me with, um, well, I had the Nike shoe boxes in the street. He's like, what do you have, sick? He, he's like, what are you doing in the street? What do you have, shoe boxes in the street? <laughs> In the middle of 6th Avenue, I'm like, yeah. He's like, what do you mean, yeah? I'm like, you just asked me a question, and I replied. That's all. And he, you know, I was not I was like, let me just get this stuff out of here. But he asked me what I was doing, and I told him that's what I was doing. He got upset. But, but that was the only two incidents I had with... with they don't really time. give you that much of a hard time, because they see it as art also, I, I think. I mean, they're not... They, they, there's no one there. It's like, it really happens so quick, and it's just... 6th Avenue is so busy that... It's it's I'm, I'm really I'm in and out. But what motivated you to do 6th Avenue? Where did the idea come from? Yes. So, the exchange that I work in, the lights are so bright in there. So, people come in sometimes like, yo, can I have a picture? Mr. Falls, what's up? Or the jewelry pictures that I take, I don't like the lighting in there. So, I would take it into, you know, right into the street on the sidewalk, I'd take a picture. So, while I'm taking pictures of some jewelry, sometimes somebody will come up like, hey, can I get a flick with you? I'm like, yeah, cool. So, we started taking pictures in the, in the sidewalk. And then, little by little, I started going into the, the middle street. of the block. And I'm like, you know what? I could get creative with this. And then it just started happening. So once you started doing that, did how much work did you guys get after that? Like after people started that's art. Like people, I think that's cool. I think it's yeah. I think I think I I think I'm doing I'm, like I'm I I'm putting on for New York City. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm bringing something different. Yeah. That's no that no one has ever done before. So it Absolutely. it's and it's it's got a lot of attention. And I mean did, did, did it help the business? Yeah. But, it, how do I explain it? It, 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 kind of, it, it just, it, just it went, made it me a little more popular. But yeah. you know what I mean? I, I truly enjoy doing it. You know what I mean? I could, like, my grandkids and their kids could be like, yo, this dude. It was crazy and he did it. <laughs> did this in him. Like, they're epic shots. Yeah, for sure. You know well, I, mean? I want to honor your time because you did say you needed to leave. But I have two more questions. Wait, hold on. Shout out to Amori. <laughs> She's my photographer. Aw. She, 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 she. Dope, dope, dope. Well, real quick, let people know where they can find you. Like, Instagram. I know they can just Google you, but where? Mr. Flawless. Mr. Flawless one on Instagram. Mr. Dot Flawless one on Snapchat. My Snapchat is funny. Yeah. It has nothing to do with jewelry. If you're looking for jewelry, <laughs> stay, stay, to, stay on Instagram. Where they can buy your, uh, your hats and yeah. your shirts and where they can. Uh, MrFlawless.com if you want to buy anything. Yeah, I'm feeling the hats. You, you have for the ladies as well, right? No, we just do it. But the Come girls on. wear No, but the ladies wear Mr. the Mr. Flawless. Yeah, they wear right. the Mr. You know, right. bossy. This is bossy stuff. So he gets mailed. I'm going to. All right, I'm going to. Yeah. Gonna I'll, 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 I'll make sure he'll, he'll, he'll all right. set y'all up. So two questions. Yes. Number one. Tell us three things about you that we don't know. I love asking this question because we learn a lot. What are three things that even Naj, right? He doesn't know about you. Did you when you're home, do you cook? Well, tell us three things about you, the person, Greg. Damn. 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 I don't know. Maybe you sing in the shower. I was just going to say, but is that corny? Everybody, who it's doesn't not sing? corny. Who doesn't sing in the shower? We don't know this. Uh, so is that I, one? I, I mean... I have a deep, deep love for animals. Okay. Like, I'm fascinated by animals. Any in particular? Like, all kinds just of animals. animals. Just okay. always was. Um, but I feel like I, I just, you know, I'm so open. I feel like, uh, it, you know, I'm an open book, so there's not really, I keep really. What's your favorite food? What do you, do you cook? I like Asian fusion. Do you cook? 
I, I can cook, yes. What's your favorite music? Mm, what do you like? What type of women do you like? Sexy women. <laughs> Who? What man Se- or no, woman listen, doesn't listen, like a sexy listen, woman? Hey, some girls that don't know how to move. You know what I mean? Like okay. I like when a when a girl's feet are always. I need an arch, and I like when this is a always, family show. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying I like sexy. women. All right, sexy women. We'll leave it there, Edgar. Okay. My last question is: What does mom think and say about you now? I think you know what. She, she was behind me the whole time and she spoiled me as a kid you know what i mean like i got what I, she just did things to shut me up you know i was just i was a little shit growing up you know okay and she always believed in me and i was i i, I remember like i don't know how i'm gonna make my mom proud like i don't know like i'm not gonna be a doctor you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying like i i wanted to be a veterinarian but i'm not trying to go to school right to for six years just to you know cut up an animal that i like <laughs> and just recently, I realized that she she was proud. You know what I mean? Aww. Like all her friends, I signed up to Facebook so all her friends could see what's going on. Because mm-hmm. you know how old ladies are—they all nosy and shit. <laughs> I want to see what you're doing. Yeah, and she actually texted me like a couple of weeks ago. She's like, "I'm proud of you," Aww. and that was like a—it was a first time she ever texted me that, and I thought it was—I thought it was a good feeling. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people, a lot of kids get lost. They don't know, you know, what they want to do or where they want to be or where mm-hmm. they want to end up, and it's tough. But when you find, find it, it's, though. Yeah, but it's tough to find it. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely. You know, this, this, this. I feel like it happens to me. It could be fate. I don't know. But yeah, some people just don't mm-hmm. know where to go. Probably all the blessings and the prayers your mom probably yeah. was, you know. Yeah. Any shout outs? Anybody you want to shout out? I got the last one. Yes, you got it. But <laughs> any shout outs? Anything? Anybody I, you want to shout out? Shout out to Reb. It's his birthday today. One of my best friends. Okay. Uh, Naj, Sa, who else? Juice, Jay Frost. We're Amori. gonna send you the link to this, so I want to make sure that you shout out all the people that you yeah, think of. Yeah, listen to it. Yeah. So your overall goal, three years, three, your three to five year plan. Where does Mr. Flawless want to? Where's he gonna go? I, I don't know. I want a family. Like all this money and all this like shit is cool, and, and doing things and traveling is all cool. I'm starting to. I, I want a family. I want some kids. I want a smoking hot wife. <laughs> With nice feet. <laughs> With the- <laughs> I like feet. I don't know. That's my thing. Uh, and the brand? I mean, uh, the, I want the brand to be, you know. Universal. Yeah, I want it to be, you know, noticed all over the world. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to focus on having a family in like the next year or two. That's been my plan for the past three years. That it's been my plan yet. for a So you guys got to tone down on the sexy wife thing, okay? It's not realistic. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to, you know, listen, I need to, you, you need to be attracted to, to, to of the... Course, to of course, of course. I tried everything else. You know what they you know say, what sexy's not going to no. raise your kids. No, listen, so you know I've, that, right? I, I've dated some, some, I'm talking about, I've dated women that I couldn't even believe I was sitting across the table from them. I'm like, yo, she's fucking hot, but she's fucking stupid. <laughs> right. But, you know, I mean, you know, you some gotta, girls could sit across from me and think I'm stupid. So, you know, it's what you like, what you prefer. For so. sure, for sure. Man. Everyone has their preference. I don't want to let you go, but it's 844, and you t- you did say you had to go. I kind of like it here. You like it, right? <laughs> You're having right. fun? Yeah, got, you could be late. I just got comfortable. Let me see. The, just, let me just go through my phone. And go see through your phone, I please. I got more like. questions, right, Edgar? Hit me. <laughs> now, nah, should we go into this Nike thing after? Yeah, later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. This is a perfect opportunity to get to know you a little bit more, because, you know, we only see what you post and what the internet gives I'm us. I'm private. Are you? Yeah, I think so. Like, the stuff that I post is, you know, anybody okay. can make anything look good on Instagram. But your private life is private. It's private. All right. Let's see how much we can get out of him. If you're on a deserted island, what are three things that you bring with you? This is deserted, so you're not going to bring sand to the beach. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Don't a woman, bring the sand. Okay. Right? There's food know. and stuff there. Don't worry. So, so what, I mean, I, I don't know. So, I don't what, know. Do you, what, can't you, what can't you live without? Some steak, but then you're saying there's food there. I mean, <laughs> women, I, I mean, a woman. A woman. One, only one. I, a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the pool, you need a pool. I mean, yeah, I mean it's, listen, a beach. it's an island. I mean, all right, I all right. Do, you know. What's your biggest pet peeve? Ugly feet. You don't like ugly feet. Do you walk around looking at people's feet like. I do. So this is how I pick them. Okay. You ready? <laughs> yes. Face. Okay. Feet. Ass. Okay. In that order. That's <laughs> okay. It. Edgar, you're like thinking. I got bad feet, so hey. <laughs> <He's> 
<laughs> no, no, but I'm saying I'm talking about feet. I'm talking about females. <laughs> females, when you look at the, you look I'm at the. It up, man. I'm saying. Well, okay, so you look at the face, and the face is I right, decent. I like her. But you look at the feet. What happens if the feet are not on point? I mean, you can work with that. Nah, I you can't. can't. It's, 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 it's done. I love face and confidence, though. You could I feel confidence is sexy. Uh, women are confidence. Yeah, women I, confidence. I, listen, oh. confidence is a must. Okay. So she could be like a seven, but as long as her confidence. She could be a six. Okay. I've had like a five that was funny. Before you go to sleep, what's the last thing you do? You watch television. Watch TV. Yeah, yeah? yeah, for sure. You fall asleep with the TV. Yeah. No, I shut it off. What's the so first the thing? La- the last, last, the thing, last thing. I have the sleep sound by my bed that makes this noise, like the air condition. See, we didn't know that. And I, <laughs> and I hit it, and it's just shh all through the night. So I'm going to tell you something, because I have a six-year-old. So if you have a family, all that shit is going to end, right? You know that, right? There's yeah, no shh. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> do you sleep? I sleep. Yeah? I do sleep. But I'm a morning person. Like, when I when I wake up, I'm Fun, up. ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Say hello to everybody. Yeah, I harass yeah. people all day. Yeah, and yeah. I called Naj early this morning. He's like, who's this? And I was like, oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Obviously, he didn't look at the phone. <laughs> so, three people you look up to as an adult now. Because when we're kids, we look up to people. We look up to anybody. But when you're an adult, who do you look up to? Can I say Jay-Z? Would that be cheating? Yes. No, 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 not at all. I look up to Jay. <laughs> Do you want to I say why? That, I don't even. I don't even need three. J, J, J is good. You know what I mean. Any uh, interaction with him ever? Never. And I don't even want to. The, 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 the see the problem is with, with being a jeweler. Like we have a stigma. It's like everyone thinks we're always looking for business, which they are. Okay. But like m- m- my, pro- it, it, it was never that for me. You know, like when I when I met an artist or or like if I was to meet Jay, it wouldn't be like, hey, can you buy jewelry for me? It'd be right. like, I love you, my guy. Thank you. Know, you I love right. Love your music and, yeah. and you know. That kind of stuff. You know what's so funny? A couple of weeks ago, we had Hollywood Hino, and he kind of said the same thing. It's not always business. It's not always about the money. That'll come later. It's about the relationship. It's about building. Just, hey, right? Because at the end of the day, we're all human, and we all have a story, and we all can probably relate to something, right? Maybe you, I don't know, you. I just like his story. Yeah. You know, he had a good, you know, a lot of people can relate to his story. Okay. Yeah. He's definitely a motivator you know for I me. Mean? He went he went he he went from doing negative things. Not being a negative person, just doing negative things to to being super positive. Super positive. And affecting the youth. Yeah. Big time now. You know. Favorite movie of all time? What can you watch? The Gladiator. Okay. And 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 Avatar. I know it's it's a it's animated shit but one long movie it was good <laughs> movies long I fuck with it <laughs> so when it comes to music who are you currently listening to right now who's on your phone who's in your car I like Uzi I like um J I do M I do a lot of old school stuff 90s mm, mm, 90s I was on a plane last night I, I went through I went through all the Nazi shit last night I just like I like the classic stuff. That the queens in you? I like big. I got big tat. Well, it's, it's not it's not actually big, but what it's, does it's, it say? It's an album see. album cover. Let me see. Oh yeah, and it's small too. Like it's very detailed. Did you guys know that that wasn't him as a baby? No, I didn't. I didn't know that until you told me. Yeah. <laughs> Man. So that was one of my favorite. So that's my favorite album. So I was like, you know what? I could put that on me and be okay with it. So, I'm not perfect. My biggest flaw is... What do you think your biggest flaw? What is something that you're like, damn, are you too nice? Some people are too nice. Sometimes I'm nice. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a, you know... Sometimes I, I sometimes I come off a little arrogant, but it's not because... Are you a Virgo? What's your birthday? I'm a Cancer. I'm mad sensitive. Oh, yeah. They're hard on the outside, yeah. but soft on the inside. Super, super soft. And when y'all don't like something, y'all back up like crabs. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. My brother's a cancer. Shout out to you, Jari. Shout out to Jarisa, too. It's her birthday. Jarisa, que pasa? Jarisa, she turned 10. 10? She, yeah, that's a big age, right? Double digits. Yo, when I got into... When I turned 10... <laughs> what were you doing? I think I cursed in front of my mom that on my birthday. For I, the first I was like, time. fuck. <laughs> She's like, she let me live, though. It was your it birthday. It was my birthday. <laughs> Jarisa, don't even think about it. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. What's one thing, if any, that you anything that you regret? Any regrets? Any learning lessons that you're like, man, I wish I could do that over. If if you had a pass. I don't know because I don't know if if if, if I'd be here today if, if 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think anything. Okay. I, maybe I would have tried to stay in stay in school to get my you know my diploma, but then again, I'm everything just, I'm, brought you here, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. You know what I mean? So well, I don't know. You know what's crazy? And That's I, why you applaud guys like you because you got your GED mm-hmm. and you ex- still excelled. Right, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want kids to think. I don't want to. I don't want the, the messages. I, I don't want to put out is. I'm not telling kids to yeah. drop out of school, and I'm not saying it's cool to drop out no, of you're school. Just telling your story. Get your get your education on. Right, it worked. You know for what you. I, I. You know what I do wish. I wish I read more as a kid. I wish I had the patience to sit down and read more. You know, but I just. That, I'm just. I am who I am. It you was know? the ADHD. It, I couldn't, man, you couldn't get me to read. I would buy all the Goosebumps <laughs> books. I don't know if you guys know about the Goosebumps the books. I don't. <laughs> Do you remember the Goosebumps book? <laughs> I used to get the whole pack. You know, Edgar whole, and I, we too old. How? I wouldn't even open it. <laughs> I don't know about me. <laughs> I would just, the, the, the books would like, it's like, it was like the scary little books that with the you'd feel it in it, whatever. Right? I wouldn't even open them. I would just make my mom buy them just so I could say I had them. You know what I mean? Do you go out and uh, every once in a while, have you gone out and talked to kids and uh, you know, do people come come calling you, DMing you? I mean, I, I have like... kids sometimes stop by the store, like 15, 16, you know. I try to give... I'm not... A, I, I don't consider myself a role model, and I don't want any kid to do the things that I did growing up, because I didn't do... It's a lot, but, you it's know... It's good to I, share it, though. No, I know, but what I'm saying is, uh, stay in school. Because you know what? You want a family. You're going to have, like, I have a six-year-old, and it's getting to the point now where he's asking questions, and I'm like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be honest and tell you the truth, but at the same time, I don't know if you're ready for that. So, you know, you have to, you're going to learn that one day, that you have to share your life and your, you know, story with your own kid, you know? So, sometimes it's good to share. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. Sometimes it's good. So... What's something that you can eat every day? You already said that you like uh, Chinese, what is it? Asian fusion? Yeah. What can you eat every day? Every day? Yeah. I I don't eat it every day, but I can. I can do fried chicken every day. Every day. Every day. Do you cook? fried chicken wings. We, I, I can. I don't. microwave. I'm too busy to cook. I spend a shitload of money on food, eating out, and I'd probably be super rich if I just stayed home and cooked. Cooked. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I'm always on the run. So for me to go to the grocery store and buy food and, and cook it for one person is not really, you know. I, I don't have patience. But I can grill. I like I like to barbecue. Okay. Anyone that you want to meet? I mean, you said Jay-Z's your... Eminem. Yeah? Yeah. Why? It's one of my favorite rappers. He's... Uh, He's a brilliant. He's a genius. You know what I mean. Like he, I, I, when he came into the from from the moment that he stepped into the game till till now, like he's just unfuckwittable. Unfuckwittable. That's the hat I'm getting, by the way. Mm. <laughs> unfuckwittable. I, ha- I have that. I have one of those for you. But, um. <laughs> you know what's crazy with him? I, it's funny. I was talking to uh, Fat Joe about uh, a couple of months back, and M sent the tape to Joe. That Joe never listened to. And Joe told me it's one of his biggest regrets. Mm. But can I can I say something? Do you think not say, do you think if if it would have ended up in in Joe's hands, it would have been as big as it was? No. I, probably and not. That's the that's, way that's, that's it's what supposed I'm, to be. That's what I'm that, that's my point. Because the way the way it happened with Dre mm-hmm. and then and then fifty and then all the drama with Ja, it was just it was just a great time in hip hop. Mm. It was it was it was great. I'm still. I enjoy, I enjoy his music. You're upset about that? I'm, no, I I like Fifty a lot. I think Fifty's a smart businessman. I just sometimes I wish he never did that to Ja. He like hurt Ja's yeah. career for a while. Even to this day, he's still like, you know, hey, it's part of the game, you know. I guess. Yeah, he did. You know. He did, but Ja Rule had but, his time yeah, though. Yeah, I mean, listen, it was personal stuff. Yeah. It was, you know, I don't know, 
I do know, but I don't know, you know, but right. it, was, it was personal. You know, I have, you know, I have people in my life that I would probably do that to yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a quote. I'm a simple dude. All I want <laughs> is a mansion, two yachts, a and couple some of Lamborghinis, yeah, and some motherfucking <laughs> Nikes. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that, your quote. That was just me being like, just funny, you know? Just, yeah. Just, just because it's a lot, you know what I mean? But it's it's not simple. Right. So that was just me being. But this says a lot about your personality, um, and your. I'm playful. Your goals. Yeah. I'm playful. Listen, at the end of the day, who doesn't want all the all all like the mansion and the, the three car garage? Right. You know what I mean? Me, I'd have probably have a mansion with no one in it. Right. Three cars with, that were all empty. Right. <laughs> with gas, no gas. You know, like it's just. I think it's bullshit. It's excessive, and sometimes you need to kind of see the life before you. A lot of people need to see what's going on. It's not, you know. Just because you have all that stuff doesn't mean you, you're, you're, happy. you're happy. Well, that's one of my questions. Good. I like the segue. Yeah. And, and, and I'm nowhere near getting that stuff, but I'm on my way. But what you're I'm on saying, your way. But what I'm saying is, like, I, I prefer happiness He's over like, I got that. one Lamborghini. I don't have two yet. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer happiness over that any day. What's success to you? What does success mean to you? When will you consider yourself successful? I already... I already think I'm successful because I'm happy with myself. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm truly happy with myself. Do I want the extra stuff that comes along with what's going on right now? Absolutely. Right. Um, but I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm on a show. You know what I mean? I'm talking about my life. That's successful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? There's, there's people that are out there dreaming to get on a show and dreaming to talk about the stuff that they've been going through and, and what's going on in their life. So I think... I think, I think I'm here. I would say, how good does it feel for you when you, when you could put people on? Because like, you got people working for I, you. Right? I, I love putting people on. It's not even. A, I just like connecting dots. Like if I have a plug, like I, you, you plug them with Joe, and someone's like, hey, can you connect me with him? I would never say no. I'd be like, yo, listen, here. Yeah. If you could do it, do it. Yeah. I would never uh, hide a plug. So I mean, I just like watching people grow. You know, if you're not gonna use your your, your connection, why are you holding it? Yeah, I, I to this day sometimes I don't even understand it. You're like, like if you can you help somebody, like help them. Like you know, hey, like Edgar is helping me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> for sure, it's it's yeah, one thing like trying to ask too. somebody, like you know, if you don't feel comfortable asking somebody for something, yeah. that's understandable. Like yo, right. can you ask this guy if you could do that? It's like you wouldn't even ask him for yourself. If you can ask for somebody else. Like that, I understand. Right. But if you're cool with somebody, where you could. Like yo, this is my bro, this is my guy. Connect. Right. If that's if you could do that, do it. Word up. Any advice to a young flawless, a young Greg? Patience. Patience. And that's something I never have and I still don't have and I'm still working on it. Oh, I'm working on it. <laughs> so that's your flaw. <laughs> oh, patience. I think it's a lot of people's flaw. Yeah. This we won a, everything yesterday. Last week. Yeah. Wow. You know? Mm hmm But I'm so happy and grateful. I, and I remember we were just talking about this, how Floyd was like, dude, just keep doing what you're doing and everything is going to happen. In my head, I'm like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I need him to help me get to where I got to I need go. to get there now. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be, and if I would have got there now, I would have lost everything. Trust the timing, yeah, right? They man. always say yeah, that. trust the timing, man. On big, a serious note, yeah. I, go, ahead, go ahead. No, Big Sean had, I don't know if anyone saw, Big Sean had this, um, this whole clip he did on Patience. It was like a two-minute video. Somebody sent it to me. I'm going to look it up. You should definitely check it out. Just type in Big Sean Patience, man. It's one of the most motivational things I've ever heard in my life. And it, it was kind of... And I sent it to everyone that, that I knew that was going through some shit. Right. It's just... it. Everyone can relate. I just feel like everyone well, who I speak with w w is not where they want to be. We're all trying to get there. I feel like that's life. No one will yeah. ever... Listen, no one will ever be where they want to be. It's true. If I had the mansion, the three-car garage, and my family... Then what? I'd want, like, some... some. <laughs> it's just... We, that's how we're humans. That's how we are. We're never satisfied. Never have enough. So you just got to kind of be happy with yourself or, 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 you know... That's true. On a serious note, are you following the politics? Are you following the debates? Are you watching what? I... No? I don't care. I, like... I'd vote. I'd I'd I'd, I'd, I'd want Jay Z to be the president. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, Oprah. Like I don't care. Are you voting like this? Like I'm me? Not, look, not, one eye open. Like listen, I'm not voting. I'm not gonna participate. I think it's stupid. Okay. And that's it. 
Edgar, are you voting? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> So vote two times, okay? Uh, One, yeah, three. I got all of y'all. I think it's, I th- it, doesn't ma- I, it doesn't matter. At this point. It's a shit show. I feel like we don't need a president this time. I don't know. No. I feel like we don't have one. Yeah. <laughs> but whatever. I don't even, but it's it's, it's going to get it's crazy. Not my, it's not my place. Yeah. I don't know anything Just about it. Just wanted to so know. I don't wanna, you know. Man, I, it's over. Like, it's 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 9 o'clock. We, he stayed. He had so much yeah, I was fun. To, let me tell you something. I told I was gonna cancel today. I, I heard. I was like, Yo, Nas, I just got back. I gotta do a bunch of shit. I'm, I'm like, I'm. Like, he's like, Yo, Greg. You would have seen me cry. He's like, Yo, listen to me. You got me looking mad, stupid, out of <laughs> professional. I'm like, You know what? He's right. Wanda like, would have been looking at. What time I gotta crazy. be there? I need. Can they get me out of there in a half hour? Yo, he's like, he yes. came in here like I gotta leave. I like eight thirty. Look, it's nine oh one. This is cool. <laughs> this is cool. Because, but, but. I, I can't put my I didn't see him post it though. That's the only thing I'm gonna say since he said that we can ask. I'm gonna ask that he post it at least, right, Edgar? As soon as put we a little. Send him the link. I'm gonna put a little car wash pressure. Send him pressure. the link and be like, "Yo, check me out." You know the car wash pressure when you're washing your car and you watch them like. Nah, I did like <laughs> on the last thing. Like, They're like, "Damn, this nigga watching me." Nah, I definitely want to say, uh, I appreciate your time. Yes. Um, keep striving for greatness. You know, um, uh, you know, I don't know you a long time, but I can say I'm proud of you. Thank you. And uh, you know, Naj, keep doing your thing because I'm watching you. And, you my know, God. You know, and I know Naj is on the come up. Sundays at Noble be there. Uh, but uh, you know, keep striving, man. You know, I appreciate you coming. Thank you. Yeah, and and, you. and will you come back again? Did you yeah. have fun? You yeah, I had a good time. And the, you know, it, it it always takes a second to warm up. I'm comfortable in my skin, but you know. It was a little hot in here. Mixed that with being a little nervous. Now you're dripping. It's a little down. hot. You know, I was dripping when I was. You know, in the beginning, I was like, you know, trying to get through the questions. But if I knew we had the hour, you know, we would have taken phone calls. But we next take, time. We, I mean, we could take phone next calls. Time, next time, next time. But um, thank you so much. Anybody you want to shout out before you go? Your mom, dad's brother, uncle? We out? Joe. Joe. Oh, dude. Joe. My guy, Joe. Joe Bernard Williams, if you're listening <laughs> You are officially my favorite person in the world. Aw, the whole name, too. Once again, guys, thank you for tuning in to the Radio Spotlight. Big, big shout-out to Jarisa, who turned 10. I love you, and I'll see you guys next week. All right? Jarisa. Jarisa. Nice. Happy birthday. <laughs> Bye. It's a wrap. Yeah. All right.